The, the, the point with this instrument is to tap. It's not like a guitar. On a guitar you hold down a note yeah. and you pluck the strings, yeah. but you never pluck on a stick. You just tap directly. And because of that you have both hands free, like on a piano, so you can play different things. Original tune that I wrote by myself. I don't remember the title. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a songwriter, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a player. <laughs> and I make instrumental music. It's on my CD anyway. contrived um, so yeah kind of came out the end of my pen and that's where I learned how to stream of consciousness writing did, did you bring down the treble um, that we were talking about uh, no but that's I'm good okay.
big dance hits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'll uh, answer that with something uh, traditional, a cover. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, maybe you know it, the Queen Sleeves. Maybe you... I have an allergy to green sleeves. <laughs> okay. I'm so joking. I'm totally joking. <laughs> no, well, I'm going to tell you about what we think about Canadians around here. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're asking for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Bring it on. Yeah. 
You know, Eric. Eric Satie. Oh, Satie! No. Satie! Yeah. Oh. He even invented his own language to, uh, to give titles to his song. And this is one of my favorite tunes of his. It's piano music. This is when it was illegal to do minor keys, you know, in the 12th century. I would have gotten hung. <laughs> so this is um, this is called Finizzi Fu.
music. Ah, this is how future music sounds.
echo song. So I'm playing it with an echo, an echo effect, you know, uh, the thing that makes uh, a note repeat. Like, kind of like I find myself sighing after every one of your pieces. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's lovely. You've been awake for a week running around yes, the right. with that instrument. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes, I'm running on one hour right now, so. You're Any... running on extra batteries. <laughs> um, so this is a this is a piece. Uh, it's um, I don't know if you've ever fallen in love with someone who you know that you really shouldn't fall in love with them, but your heart went and did it anyway. And your mind's like, what are you doing? Are you nuts? And your heart's going, well, I'm already here. So, so this is what that song. This song is about. It's uh, it's called the sun.
Let's just start. Mm. Well, I'll do another love song uh, written by John Coltrane, my favorite uh, jazz player. Uh, it's called Anaima. He wrote it for, for his first wife. <laughs> together with someone you learn you learn something from is a good exchange so this is a this is a very dark dark tune it's a little bit about politics politics but i like it it's a good tune it's a it's a it's a tune that uh, was written by uh, bruce coburn who's a uh, what you would call, um, a, well, he's a great guitar player, he's a great songwriter, and he's a real, um, you, if you could translate for me, a um, shit disturber, you know, like a troublemaker. He's a, he fights, <laughs> and he's, he's, he's quite, he's quite lovely. He won't, uh, <laughs>
one more song each. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> and then everyone is free to run out into the beautiful Stockholm night. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well. <laughs> And so it was like three of the four horsemen of the apocalypse <laughs> for a team, you know. So, um, so yeah, it was rough, but it's even rougher now. So I, I wrote this song, and I, I decided to uh, use some of the words from Khalil Gibran's um, The Prophet, uh, speak to us of pleasure, speak to us of children, all of these um, beautiful, beautiful uh, works that he wrote, uh, very inspired works I, I kind of infused in this song for my daughter, so, because I'm not as wise as Khalil Gibran. <laughs> and, um, 
This has a really incredible saxophone solo in it, too. Just imagine the saxophone solo. And the drums. The drums are great. <laughs> Maybe you can uh, just switch to Swedish for a little bit. Yes, please, go. The presentation of the first. The thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Really, really, really. Fantastic. Absolutely. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah.
Du sa att jag träffar ju Per här av misstaget som han spelar ute på gatan här. Jag hörde direkt hans musik det var coolt. Så vi tyckte vi skulle passa bra här att ha i våra lokaler här. Så då fick jag en skiva av han så du sa att du träffar på han lite av misstag där. Sen så tyckte han hörde av som om lokalen för spelande så här. Då tyckte jag det passade var roligt. Kan, han, kan vi göra så här precis som vi gjorde nu? Vi har nämligen en spelare som heter Valhall. Och det här inne är den lokalen som vi kallar för Valhall. Och man kommer in här och är ett bord här och dukat och man... Det är så här, man spelar spel här, eh, live escape spel, man löser en gåta på en timme, kommer i grupp och eh, så klart ska man klara av ett uppdrag i grupp. Det är jätteroligt och eh, ja, vi har ett spel som heter Valhall och det andra heter Farmor, då räddar man en dam här bredvid. Vi hade några som spelade precis när vi började väntet här också. Ni får jättegärna gå in på vår hemsida exitgames.se och titta. Och vill ni boka så man bokar nämligen online, så bokar man en tid och kommer hit på ett givet klockslag. Vill ni boka så får ni jättegärna göra det och då får ni pris idag. 499 kronor. Skriver ni bara i kommentarer.